I am a 33-year-old man and my soon-to-be ex-wife, 33 years old, and I have been married for a little over 3 years and together for 10 years. There have always been moments in our relationship that made me suspect something was going on. She would always tell me it was nothing and that she would never do that to me. We agreed that if either of us ever ended up cheating, we would tell the other person. Two years ago, in April, I received a call from one of my really good friends. He was kind of nervous to tell me, but ended up sharing that while he was at my house on his lunch break getting food, which I offered because she made chicken fettuccine that night, and he struggled a bit financially. She told him that she had cheated on me about two months prior, basically, around our anniversary. I was devastated and immediately started blowing up her phone crushed by what I was told asking her if it was true. She confirmed it and I broke down even harder. I love this woman with my every being and somehow still have feelings for her. I tried to get past it and work on our relationship for about a year and a half, but I just couldn't let it go. She said it was stupid and that she should have never done it. But I was always at work, and this person from school had randomly hit her up on Facebook and wanted to say hi. So she indulged because he made her feel good. One thing led to another, they kissed, and then had sex. Fast forward to about two months ago, I decided that I couldn't get past this, and I had to try and end the relationship. I told her that I didn't think it was possible for me to forgive in my heart what she did to our marriage, and that it was over. I met someone who was also in a failing marriage, and we talked a few weekends in a row about relationship stuff and I started kind of getting feelings for her. My still current wife caught wind of it somehow and started bugging me about how I was already dating someone else and throwing out all these other accusations, none of which were true. Would I love to have a chance with this new woman? The answer is yes but she hasn't ended her relationship yet. So I just continued to go see her at work every weekend for a few hours to hang out and chat because I feel good when I'm with her. My wife hates that I do this and still swears that it's more than that when I have never done anything wrong in our relationship. I got a message from her last night saying that she was going to step out for the night after she got our youngest to sleep. Then I get a call from my kid shortly after saying that she got picked up by some guy and that they took her phone and told me what his name was and that she said he was just a friend and that she had known him for a long time. In 10 years, I have never heard this name come up in any conversation nor have I met him or even knew he existed. Am I wrong for being hurt that she was gone from 11 p.m. until 6 a.m. with this guy, or am I just being jealous? Because I can't have the person I have been talking to at this time, but she gets whatever she wants because she's a female. Also, am I wrong for ending the relationship? Thanks for your input, and I hope my story isn't too, too jumbled up. My mind has been a wreck ever since, I just feel pain all the time unless I'm drunk or with the other female hanging out. Any input is appreciated. My mind is messed up. Story 2 I've been with this woman for over 15 years. We've been married for over two years and have two kids one teenager and one toddler. In April 22nd, I went to the ER, which eventually led to me being hospitalized for a rare form of blood cancer. I was hospitalized for three weeks. Those three weeks were challenging being away from my two kids and my wife. It was especially hard on her since I took care of mostly everything around the house and now she was forced to be a single parent while I was being treated. On the day of my discharge, my wife admitted to me that she had been talking to her ex-fiancé for support. She claimed I stopped talking to her and he's the only one she can easily open up to. If this was as far as it went, I would have been fine with it. For some history, we had some fight six or seven years ago where, for a few weeks, we took a break this was prior to marriage. She told me she was leaving to go see him. For those few weeks, I didn't really care. I was kind of done. So to my surprise, a few weeks later, we had the talk and asked what I wanted. I told her that I figured we were over, and that's what she wanted. Turns out that she decided to stop seeing him and said that we need to work on our relationship. This felt like a complete 180 from what I was expecting. So when she didn't expect it, I snooped. This is the man of her dreams, soulmates, 
whatever, even at this point where I'm at now, these two were made for each other, so why did she suddenly want to fix our relationship through my snooping, I found out they were regularly intimate in parking lots. Also, read that she would choose him over me any day of the week without question. I only found out within the last few months that she stopped seeing him because he was getting married, I naively thought things would be better, so I stayed. I had my son to worry about at the time too. Once I was home, it just didn't sit right with me. During the night, I stooped again, I didn't trust her this time, especially when it involved him. It started off innocently enough with talking about my condition and how hard life was for her doing single parent duties while I was in the hospital. Then it broke into how she missed him and their relationship, and he went all in on all the things that he missed about her. She sent him explicit images and talked about how much they missed their intimate life. After reading for a while, I just couldn't anymore, but the thing that hurt the most was reading that she didn't even miss me, just the fact that I wasn't around to help in the house. This broke me. For the next few nights, I made excuses to not sleep in the same bed as her. Told her I was too used to sleeping alone or the rigidity of the hospital bed. After the first week home, she asked if she could go see him. She reassured me that it was all friendly to not look like the possessive husband I agreed. She could tell I was growing resentment, so the next night after some arguing, I finally told her that I, I knew and she was cheating. Of course, she denied any wrongdoing until I told her I knew that she was sending him explicit images. Here, I am almost a year to the anniversary of my diagnosis. She leaves every other night after our youngest is asleep to see this man who is going through a divorce now I stay home and spend time with my eldest son and game. I don't love her anymore, but I care about her well-being. She has a chronic illness where if she doesn't get her meds, she'll die, so I can't just get rid of her. The truth is I know I've just been a doormat the last year, but I know that going through a divorce is going to mess me up in the court system. I seriously don't know what to do. I have no one to talk to as she essentially didn't let me have many friends in the years we've been together because it was always what about me while you're out. There are definite gaps I didn't fill in here, and I apologize for that. T. L. D. R. Wife cheated while hospitalized. A year later, I've done nothing. Call me stupid. Edit since it's come up a lot now. Yes. I've loggered up. I have a consult on Monday. I'm taking the day off, but still pretend to go to work that morning. I've put it off for too long. Hope my slack doesn't cost me too much. Story 3. For a little context, I've been with my wife for 13 years and she doesn't have a history of cheating. We have two kids together. Our relationship hasn't been great for a while. It seems like we are always trying to make it work. I'm going to try and be as unbiased with the telling of the story as I can be a difficult thing to do, but I'll try. It's going to be a bit long as I tend to give a lot of details, so we just bought a new house together a little over a week ago and hired a contractor to build a small half wall around a set of stairs that leads to the basement. My wife had set up an ad looking for a contractor so she was the one talking to him about times and whatnot. Last Saturday, she told me the contractor would be there around 11 meters, my youngest daughter had dance class about a 25 minute drive away at 9.10 am that morning. My wife asked me if I'd mind taking the other kid for a drive too as with all the stress of moving, she just needed to relax which is understandable, she's the one who's done most of the planning. I know she's been stressed, so I say sure. I get back close to 11 am and the contractor is there and has just started what he was there to do that day, he left a while later. The following day, my wife starts talking about the contractor's background and mentioned he had a past criminal history. She then tells me he was inappropriately messaging her and then admits she wasn't appropriate either. I asked if she had the messages and they had been deleted already, she said the inappropriateness didn't last long and that she was really sorry, but she had stopped a while ago. Obviously, I was upset about this but I kept it together and told her I was going for a drive to clear my head and pick up something I needed. About 5 minutes after I left my mind went back to the previous day, 
and I remembered that my wife had asked me if I could turn the water on so she could freshen up. Water to the house was shut off due to a slow leak and that the contractor was there with her alone before I got there that day and that she made sure both kids were out of the house. I turned around as something just felt off. I questioned her, and she eventually spit out that she had kissed and that was all then after more prying she admitted to oral. I was furious. I threw my cup of coffee on the ground, screamed a few expletives at her and stormed out. I was crushed and furious. Now here is the part where I could be an asshole my wife parents opinion of her has always been very important to her. I'm not going to pretend I had good motives here. I wanted to hurt her like she hurt me so I texted her mother and told her exactly what she did with the contractor and told my wife that her deceased father would be thoroughly ashamed of her she has struggled with his passing, it's been almost five years and it's still a struggle for her. I also sent my wife an assess of what I said to her mother. I realize it sounds childish that I told her mom on her more or less, but her mother's opinion of her means so much to her. She eventually got me back to the house that night. She had told me the dog got out and was missing, but when I pulled in, she told me that she had just come back, so I left again. She seemed to be having a mental health crisis, so I texted her mother and told her she needed to come down to stay with her daughter, but I would go back until she got there. When I got there, my wife was already gone, likely only a minute or two. My two kids were asleep inside, so I obviously went in as I couldn't leave them alone and again informed her mother of the change. After some texting, my wife pulled in and asked me to come out and talk to her. I insisted I was too pissed to have a calm conversation and I wasn't going to. She said fine and told me to sleep in the house and she would sleep in the van. She convinced me to let her in to grab something so I did. She wouldn't leave I tried to leave. She eventually convinced me to sleep in the bedroom and she would sleep on the couch. I agreed she made her way to the bedroom anyway. Eventually, we decided we wouldn't do anything to rash. I made it clear that I might still leave her yet kids and a new house purchase make leaving difficult. She has admitted that what she did was terrible and unforgivable and did seem remorseful. Over the last few days, she has been trying to get me to tell her mother that what I said wasn't true. I didn't tell anyone else complaining that it has ruined her relationship with her mom that she is so ashamed and can't even look at her. She did admit she cheated and kissed the contractor, but that is all she admitted to her mom. For the first couple of days, I was firm and not a chance in hell. Would I do that? I eventually decided that I don't want to permanently damage her relationship with her mother and told her that there was a miscommunication and I jumped to conclusions. Things have been going okay-ish, a few blowouts here and there, but today, my wife texted me and said that while she knows what she did was the worst thing ever, but she doesn't know if she can forgive me for telling her mother what she did and ruining their relationship. Honestly, I saw red at that point. Am I overreacting here? I feel like she's trying to tell me that what I did was worse and unforgivable.